Hi you folks, this is question 10 and all we need to do here for the first part is just take away all of these things. So he earns the 48,000 but he pays 7,650, 1920 and 1407 all in different uh, tax. So we do 48,000 subtract each of them. So. And we should get 37,023. And that's all for now. Write his net annual income as a percentage of his gross annual income. So I'm just going to take the 37,023. And we put it over his gross income. So what? He earns all together, so that's the 48,000. That's before any tax was paid, and then we just multiply by 100 to turn it into a percentage, and we get 77.1%. And that's all. Right, part B then. So he pays. 20% on the first 40,000. Now in this question though, he only earns 34,000. So he's going to pay all of that at the lower rate. So it's just going to be 34,000 multiplied by 20% or 0 0.2 there. And you're going to get 6,800 there. Then that's the amount of tax he has to pay. But we have to take away the tax credit from that. That reduces the amount of tax that he has to pay. So cre tax credit is always a good thing. And we get 3250. So that's the actual amount he has to pay then when we take the tax credit into account. And then we're just going to take the 34,000 that he earns. Take away 3250 because that's the actual amount he has to pay for tax. And we get 30,000. 750. Right, Caroline's gross income is 50,000. Her annual tax credit is 3550. Find out her. Right, so we have to use this then up here again. So this time she earns 50,000. So on her first 40,000, she's going to pay it at 20%. But on the rest of it then, up to the, to the 50,000, she's going to pay the rest of it at 40%. So at the standard rate, it's going to be 40,000 multiplied by 20%. And the rest of it then is 10,000 because there's 10,000 left. So 50,000 take away 40,000 is 10,000. And she's going to pay that at 0 0.4 or at 40%. So you put in whichever one you want. And then, so that's going to give us 8,000 there. And this is going to, the, to give us 4,000. So she pays 8,000 at the standard rate, 4,000 at the higher rate. Therefore, if we add those two together, that's 12,000. Now she also gets a tax credit, so we're going to take that away. That's three five five zero, and we get eight four five zero, and that's actually all we have to do here. Because if you look back at the question, it's find out how much annual income tax she pays. So we don't actually have to go and figure out how much money she gets to take home here like they ask us in most questions. It's just how much tax she pays, and we've worked that out. Right, for this part then, it's tricky to get your head around this, but basically we're looking for some value of money, some amount of money, where if you paid 20% of it, that you would get the tax credit, because that tax credit is like it's your money, it's 
money that you get it's a good thing remember so three five five zero so some big amount of money times 20 percent would be that because after because when we go over this then we actually do start paying paying tax if you want to think about it like that it actually is money that comes that comes away from us so uh if i replace that big box thing there which is maybe put in something like that but with a with maybe an x so x multiplied by 20 percent is equal to 3550 so if i just move the 20 percent to the other side and divide it that's going to give me what x is so x would be equal to 3550 over 20% or over 0 0.2. And we get 17,750. And that's how much then, that if you earned that much, then you wouldn't actually have to pay any tax because your tax credit would cover it. Right, so the last part then, so it's in 24, it went from 40,000 to 42,000. So that's a 2,000 difference. Then we have to work out how much less income tax a person earning more than that would pay in 2024 compared to 2023. So this is the amount that you can now pay at the 20% because up till 2023 you were paying that 2000 at 40 percent but now because the, the um it's it's the amount has gone up you can now pay that 2000 at uh 20 percent so if you were earning 52,000 and this before this before 2024 you would have you would have earned for you would have paid 40,000 of it at 20 percent but now you can pay 42,000 of it at 20%. So you can pay an extra 2,000 at 20%. So all we're doing is just multiplying that by 20%. And we should get 400 there. So 400 euro really is what everybody saved this year. So if you were earning anything above 42,000, you, you saved an extra 400 this year. And we're not finished, there's another part. Yeah, um, actually the last part it was just filling into a formula really. The total annual electricity and broadband bill. So she has an electricity bill of 1950. She has a broadband bill of 400. If we add those two together, we get 2350. So, uh, that's what goes in there in for that thing so we do two three five zero multiplied by d that's just going to be uh yeah that's the days in a year i saw somewhere yeah that's the number of days worked from home so she worked 120 days from home so we do 120 in there instead of d and then over three six five and then we multiply that by 0 0.3 and that's just um, putting all that into the calculator and then and that's the last bit so that's 2 3 1 78 and then we have a part two actually as well so again it's filling into the formula up there but now it's like it tells you the answer it tells you she gets 135 in tax relief and we have to figure out what D is, how many days she worked from home. So we put everything else in. So 2250 is the amount of her bills. It tells us in the, tells us in the question. Uh, multiplied by D over 365 times 0 0.3. And now we're just moving things to the other side. So I'm going to do 135 divided by 250. Sorry, 2250 and 0 0.3. I'm moving both of them over to the other side together there, dividing by both of those. So I can do that. And then if you wanted to do it all, you could work out that there on the left hand side if you want first. Or you could do it all in one go. I could bring over, I can just bring over the 365 now 
away from the V and multiply it. So we get 365 times 135 on top. And on the bottom, we have 2250. times 0 0.3 and that should all be equal to d then and we should get our answer so we get about 73 days So she worked 73 days from home. And that's it then, that's all for that question and that's all for that paper.